Hey y'all, welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B and I'm back with another general collective energy message. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth. So if you don't like either one of the two, you probably should move on. Spirit, I ask that you allow me to channel the message that you have for myself and the collective. If there is any negative energy around me, I ask that you remove it. If there is any black magical spells coming my way or the collective's way, I ask that you block them. We thank you and we love you. Alrighty, y'all. Hope you guys are having a blessed day as usual. Hope you guys are staying safe, staying cool. Please remember to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe, especially to those of you that are viewing the channel but have not yet subscribed. You don't want to miss out on the messages that God has for you. Also, please remember to take what resonates only and leave the rest for whoever it's for. Every message will not be your message. So with that being said, y'all, we're going to go ahead and hop in. Um, I was hearing actions speak louder than words here. So I feel like that your actions in your life, whatever you're doing in your life, is speaking way much louder than any word can speak here. I feel like that whoever you are, you're on the right path here. Um, I do. Uh, I am picking up here that somebody's faith is going to be being tested here. Or is being tested here. Um, I'm also picking up too. That whatever. Anything that you have had going on in your life. You know that. Could have brought you strife. Or you know could have put you in, in a uh, position to where. You know you were dealing with mental instability here. Because of obstacles and challenges. Whoever you are. You, you're definitely going to heal. Healing is a must. Healing is a part um, of the process that you're that you're in at this time here. Whatever path that you're on in your life here, everything is happening for a reason. Um, and so whoever you are, you just need to relax. Nothing happens outside of God's will. Everything is, is done in God's will and God's way, even though it doesn't look like it. Or even though it doesn't feel like it or seem like it. It definitely does here. So, let's see what's going on, y'all. Spirit. Yeah, some type of illusions here. We have kite in the reverse here. This is my love message card here. So for some of you, somebody possibly wants to send some type of love message here. Send some type of, you know, possibly wants to communicate with you here. Um, but maybe, you know, they're, they're just possibly not doing it here. I feel like somebody's hesitant here to send some type of message here. For some of you, whoever this person is, they feel like that the message is going to be turned down. Whoever this person is. So for some of you, if somebody was to send you like a text message, whoever this is, they feel like that you're not going to respond, you're not going to read it or something like that here. For some of you, somebody literally ha has tried to send text messages or has typed out text messages or, you know, some type of message, email, whatever this is here. Um, but they just failed to send it here. Somebody also didn't receive a message about love here. So this could be from, you know, like spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Somebody didn't receive this message or somebody didn't take heed, um, to the message here. When it comes to some type of love situation here. Yeah, we have the moon in the reverse here. So yeah, whatever was, was hidden, it's it's out in the open here. So that could be why somebody doesn't want to send this message here. <clears throat> or somebody literally um, didn't take heed to some type of love message here um, from their spiritual team here. Whoever this is that either chooses to not send out the message here or didn't take heed to the message, their secrets are out here with the moon in the reverse here. I'm also picking up too. Somebody's hesitant about sending some type of message here. Um, 
as far as, you know, possibly exposing themselves as well here. What else? For some of you, you already know some type of secrets here about somebody. We have calm in the reverse here. So there could be someone else, you know, um, that could have could literally be trying to infiltrate somebody's energy here, possibly trying to stop somebody from sending some type of love message here by exposing somebody here. Somebody doesn't want somebody to be in calm energy here. Somebody wants somebody to literally fly off the handle here. Somebody literally could be finding this out here. And so they could literally be angry here because they could be finding out what somebody is doing behind the scenes here. Yeah, we have cross in the reverse here. So somebody doesn't want somebody to be calm here. Somebody doesn't want somebody to believe in what they believe in here. Somebody does. Somebody literally wants doesn't want somebody on their path here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Somebody also doesn't want somebody to receive love here by exposing them here. If somebody feels like if they expose somebody, then they won't receive, you know, love. They won't receive, you know, um, positive energy into their life here. Yeah, whoever you are, you already laid your burdens down here. I feel like whatever it is in your life here that you, you know, have faced here, I feel like that you've already laid those burdens on the altar and you walked away. So you gave whatever it is in your life that was burdensome and stressful to God. Yeah, we have stop in the reverse here. So yeah, somebody didn't want to stop doing something here. But I'm also picking up too that at the end of the day, regardless of what was taking place behind the scenes, somebody couldn't stop you here. Somebody literally is trying to possibly get somebody to take their guard down here as well. And they could be trying to do it by trying to expose somebody here. So it, I'm picking up black male energy here. Whatever it is that you're doing in your life, actions are speaking louder than words. So whatever somebody's trying to do behind the scenes, they could do just do it. I just heard somebody, whoever this person or these people are, is not going to stop you. Because it's all about faith. It's all about you having faith. So whoever you are, you know that whatever is going on behind the scenes, God is going to take care of it. If it's if it's dealing with a distraction to take you off of your path here, um, if it's interfering with your beliefs here, yeah, God is literally going to make sure that these people are stopping their tracks. And, and God is going to make sure that you continue to move forward here. Why is this kite in the reverse here? Yeah, Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, some type of communication here. Um, so yeah, somebody literally could be trying to stop some type of love message or some type of message of love from getting to you here by trying to expose something here. But somebody literally also wants to expose themselves here as well is what I'm picking up or they're going to expose themselves here why is this kite here we have the knight of cups here mm -hmm. for some of you yeah somebody they didn't take heed to some type of message here from their from their ancestors here as far as a, a love situation here I'm also picking up too um, that somebody didn't take heed uh, to some type of information that they had received here. Whoever this is, they possibly do want to apologize here. But whoever this is, they showed you fake love here. I feel like your actions are speaker, speaking louder than words as far as you possibly have already forgiven this person. I don't know if you've forgotten what they've done, but you definitely have forgiven this person here. And I feel like that their conscience is weighing in on them, basically to reveal hidden things to you here with the moon in the reverse. Yeah, Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so some type of truth and clarity is going to be brought regardless here. I feel like because your actions are speaker, speaking louder than words, whatever you're doing in your life, that's what's bringing forth truth and clarity. Um, whether 
people, this person or people wanted to or not here, regardless of whatever is going on in the background, you're going to receive truth and clarity about what's going on, especially if it has something to do with you or your energy here. Mm -hmm. For some of you, whatever this truth and clarity is that's coming your way, it's possibly going to make you angry here. But I'm also picking up, too, that whoever this person is, they could be receiving some type of truth and clarity um, in their life here that is going to make them angry here as well. We have King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So we have Leo Aries Sagittarius here. Mm -hmm. Somebody didn't want to stop doing something here, and I feel like that they know that whatever they were doing behind the scenes didn't work. And so I feel like that the only option for them to do is to try to come in and apologize and to basically reveal the truth to you here. Mm -hmm. With the moon in the reverse and ace of swords here. Somebody did take some type of action against you here. Somebody definitely is going to find out some truth and clarity here when it comes to a Leo Aries Sagittarius here. Um, some this, Whoever this is, they made some type of irrational to do something here. Mm -hmm. They could have literally just turned their back on you and basically partnered up with someone else or other people here. Whoever you are, cross is in the reverse. So it's not your it's not your your cross to bear. It's it's not your burden, you know, to, to, to be on your shoulder here. Whatever's going on in behind the scenes, these people have to deal with it on their own. You just need to continue to move forward because your actions are the ones that are speaking louder than words. These people's actions are literally not speaking anything but toxicity, karmic behavior, possibly illegal activity here. Mm -hmm. Why is the cross in the reverse here? The magician. Mm -hmm. So yeah, somebody somebody literally was trying to do something behind the scenes here um, to literally stop you from having everything here. From having love, from having, you know, a, a sound mind here. Um, they were trying to stop you from believing in what you believe in. They were trying to basically get you off of your path here. Mm -hmm. Somebody also literally stopped believing, you know, in... Uh, in God, pretty much, with the cross in the reverse, and they went to the dark side here. Yeah. Doing everything in their power to literally stop you from having a happy life here. But it didn't work. Somebody literally could be trying to come in here, you know, to act like they want to apologize here. For some of you with the Ace of Swords and the Moon in the reverse, like we already talked about, you already know what's up with this person here. Um, what type of actions that they took behind the scenes here. They possibly are going to try to uh, manipulate you here or come in to manipulate you, but that's not going to work. Mm hmm. Yeah. And, and, and the thing about it is we have the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, whoever this is, they're possibly literally trying to stop you from moving forward here with the Eight of Cups here. But I'm also picking up, too, that somebody was literally trying to... Uh, take some type of, type of action to manipulate somebody to walk away here. So this could be from you here. So somebody literally could have been trying to stop somebody um, from, you know, showing you love, you know, showing you real love here um, by possibly, you know, exposing you or, or lying and gossiping about you here. Somebody knows the truth here. And whoever this person is, they're mad. Or it could be this person here that did this because they possibly were listening to other people here. And now they're realizing that the people that they were listening to literally was manipulating them to literally walk away from you here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have the devil at the bottom of the deck here. So this would be on top of the Knight of Cups here. So yeah, fake love here. Some type of karmic situation as well here. Somebody literally is walking away from the devil here. Somebody's walking away from a karmic situation ship here. Mm hmm Somebody is also turning their back on the manipulation. Yeah. So they're turning their back on anything dark here. Whoever this person is, they did choose the dark side, but now they're choosing a different path here. They are turning their back on anything that is not of God here. They're walking away from the devil here. Whoever this person is, they realize that they want to move forward here with the chariot. 
but somebody's also realizing that they're going to tell the that the truth is going to come out here and whatever truth this is somebody literally realizes that yeah they're going to jail here or their prison whatever it is mm -hmm. somebody's angry about that so it could have been somebody behind the scenes doing this here somebody realizes that what they invested in here they realize that they invested um you know their their stay at jail or prison here they also realize that they invested in the dark side whoever you are you're not burdened you you i feel like that you've already placed your burdens where they need to go and you kept moving forward here there is going to be some type of attention that is going to be brought here and i feel like it's to this person or these, to these people here that they can't stop you you're still moving forward but I'm also picking up too that if it's somebody else that they were trying to do this to, it's going to be brought to their attention here that they can't stop this person. They're literally still moving forward here. Yeah, and, and these people are going to be embarrassed here. Mm hmm. But I'm also picking up too that there is somebody that is embarrassed here because they possibly literally are finding out what they played a part in or what was taking place behind the scenes here. Somebody wanted you to be codependent with this nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I feel like somebody realizes that they were being codependent here. Um, and it could be on a love situation ship. It could be on a family. It could be on a job. It could be on anything here. But there is getting ready to be a change here. Mm -hmm. Some truth has been spoken here. And that is going to change the trajectory here. So for some of you, you're possibly going to have to speak some truth here. For others of you, you possibly have already had some type of conversation and that was it. That's why the kite is in the reverse. Somebody feels like if they try to reach out, you're not going to respond. It's possibly because you already spoke your truth and moved on. Again, you already laid your burdens down and you move forward here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's possibly because with the high priestess in the reverse and the king of pentacles, again, you already know what somebody's about here. Or, or somebody can't hide here. Yeah, for some of you, you could be listening to music here. That could be helping you to heal here. Um, there's something about music that's that's important here. For some of you, your spirit guides, ancestors, and angels are, are trying to communicate with you through song here. Mm -hmm. But I'm also picking up too that yeah somebody was listening to other people here instead of their intuition instead of their spiritual team here and that's how they got into the situation here. Yeah we have come together here so somebody was listening to other people here when they decided to get in some type of karmic situation here. Um, but I'm also picking up too that somebody literally could be trying to telepathically communicate with you through music here to possibly get you to come together with them here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the devil in this listening here, somebody could be listening to some music that doesn't serve their highest good here. Mm -hmm. But for some of you, you do need to listen to music here because that's going to bring forth some type of truth and clarity here. Or that could be what somebody else is doing here. Maybe their spirit guides are, you know communicating with them through music and that's how they're getting some type of truth and clarity here but somebody but there is somebody that literally wants to move forward here they do want to come together with somebody here and there could be somebody out that's mad here Yeah, we have goblins here. Mm -hmm. Somebody literally could realize that they literally were attached to a whole group of people that have entities here. Whoever this person is, they could have okay, they could have an entity attachment, or they did here. Um, but somebody literally realizes that yeah, they they literally chose the dark side here. They chose the wrong side. Mm hmm. Yeah, somebody didn't know what they were doing here with the into the unknown here. So somebody chose the wrong side and they didn't even know what they were doing. They realized, yeah, that they were walking into the unknown here. 
and somebody was doing something that they didn't have any business doing here. Whoever you are, you've already walked into the unknown, but it's a different unknown than whoever this person or these people are. Yeah. And and for that reason, you can't be stopped here. You walked into the unknown as far as being led by your spiritual team here. You see this bird? These people walked into the unknown and they were led by little goblins here. Little hidden goblins as well. Yeah, you walking into the unknown here? Following the, the, the voice of spirit here? Yeah, these people can't stop you. These people can't stop you. You're still moving forward and these people are embarrassed. They feel stupid. They're crying over spilled milk because these people have hit rock bottom here. Mm -hmm. These people wanted you to hit rock bottom here. Whoever these people are, I feel like that they thought that you were walking into the unknown as far as the same side that they chose, the dark side. These people didn't know that you literally walked into the unknown when it comes to the light side here. Yeah, whoever you are, you definitely have ultimate protection. Whoever these people are, I feel like that they didn't know it. Um, but they're realizing that you do have ultimate protection here. I feel like that these people try to play on your top like you were of the dark here because they are of the dark and so they wanted you to be of the dark but your actions speak louder than words so these people can say all day every day I believe in God I love God but it's not true if you believed in God you know what I'm saying if, if you were of the light side then you wouldn't do the things that you're doing here so yeah your actions speak louder than words if you say that you have a relationship with God it shows these people can say that they have a relationship with God but it shows that they don't because they operate more out of their dark side their dark than their light here whatever is taking place in this situation you called and your ancestors picked up so yeah you have ultimate protection all you do all day every day is talk to your spiritual team here and they hear you mm -hmm. yeah for some of you somebody literally does want to manipulate you to come towards you here they could be in the devil energy here as well trying to move forward here Mm-hmm. But somebody definitely something has been brought to somebody's attention here, and is it something about a sex demon here? Um, we do have a king of wands out here, so I don't know what that's about here. Somebody literally could find out about um, a masculine energy with another masculine energy here. That's for some of you. That's not for all of you here. Yeah, somebody cut down the tree. They gave them resources here. Yeah, look, dark side. Yeah, so whoever this person is, they chose the dark. They thought that you were part of the dark side, but your light shows by your actions, not your words. Yeah, we have CSI, cannot stop investigating. So somebody literally um, continued to investigate the dark side. They continue to, you know, um, think of ways to, 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 to get you to come to the dark side here. Yeah. Somebody also was possibly trying to, um, kept trying to get you investigated here. So that's that stop in the reverse here. Somebody literally was trying to get you investigated and it could be, you know, for your, for your spiritual practices or whatever, whatever you believe in here. But yeah, there is some truth and clarity that's coming in. You're definitely going to find out who was the mastermind behind the plan here. Or somebody is. It could be this King of Wands here, Leo Aries Sagittarius here. Yeah, because somebody's re neglecting their responsibilities to watch and spy on you here. So yeah, whoever these people are, they're trying to basically see what you got going on. Mm -hmm. They're trying to figure out your next moves, you know, so they can try to manipulate you or whatever the situation is here. Yeah. Spirit says keep it near to the ground because there is some information that is coming your way here. So for some of you with this kite in the reverse, somebody didn't want you to receive this here. And they possibly were doing things behind the scenes to try to, to stop you from receiving some type of messages here. Yeah, somebody literally was serving two masters here.
for some of you, somebody realizes some, it was brought to this person's attention or it's going to be brought to this person's attention that they need to go into the unknown. And they and they and they need to recognize that they need to get on the path that they um, want to be on here, or need to be on here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something about feelings that don't lie here. So with the kite in the reverse here, somebody literally doesn't have feelings for something here, and that we did pick up that somebody literally was walking away. They have their back turned to any type of manipulation. They have their back turned to the devil, pretty much. Somebody is walking away from the devil. They're walking away from some type of you know karmic situation with the devil here, and they want to move forward here. So somebody literally. Possibly has sent a, 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 a not so nice message to somebody here. Or somebody has done this in the past. Communicated with you. Not so nice here. Um, but they can't deny their feelings. Yeah. Their feelings don't lie when it comes to you here. Um, it's something about some exposure here with the moon in the reverse here. Um, so whoever this is. They literally could have said some some bad things to you or about you here. Mhm. Mm um, you know, they could have exposed some some things that they know about you, you know, hidden things that they know about you. They could have exposed it here. Or this is somebody else here. Um, for some of you, somebody is going to come in and they're literally going to try they're going to reveal some stuff to you here. And it possibly is going to make you feel like it's a setup. But this is this a setup here because we do have the chariot here. So somebody so you could possibly think this person coming in to try to to basically reveal some type of truth and clarity to you to possibly move forward and come together here you possibly are going to feel like this is a setup here or it could be here for some of you you're gonna you're gonna yeah you're gonna feel like this person is lying here or that's what you're gonna tell this person that they're lying here and if this is not you it's it's somebody else that's attached to your energy here but yeah for some for some of you somebody yeah you're gonna do the math here um, there is somebody that does like to mentally abuse humans here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We have only the good die, die young here. So with the cross and the reverse and the magician here, that could have been somebody that could have passed away here. This could have been a younger person here. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, maybe somebody is like, you know, realizing what's going on around them here. They're realizing that, yeah, they signed up for the dark side here. Well, here comes the sun. Somebody didn't want to stop doing something and here comes the sun. So here comes God. But here comes here comes illumination to whatever has been taking place behind the scenes here. Somebody is going to come in to basically expose themselves and possibly everything and everybody around them that were involved here to possibly move forward with you here. But somebody literally could have tried to get somebody locked up here as well. And so that's why somebody could feel like, is this a setup here? Yeah, some it's going to be revealed here. It's going to be revealed. A lot of things are going to be revealed here, but somebody didn't want to stop doing something here. And so I feel like, yeah, they're going to be exposed, point blank in the sentence in the period. And there's a bird right outside the window. So, yeah, it's going to be communication, sudden communication here. Yeah, something about mental abuse here. So somebody possibly wants to apologize for some type of mental abuse. So maybe this person was literally trying to mentally abuse you by, with their words here. If this is not you, it's some it's somebody else here. Yeah, there is some truth and clarity that is going to uh, take place here, and it is in within the next uh, seven to ten days here. Somebody's also going to find out about some type of mental abuse here, and it could be to a young person here in the next seven to ten days here. Somebody literally could try to come in here with some type of business proposition here. This could be something that somebody manifested here or again this business proposition um, could be the fact that somebody just wants to bring forth this business proposition here to, to manipulate somebody to move forward here. Mm-hmm.
have a Libra Scorpio Cusper here. Whoever you are, these people, they know that you know here. So yeah, that's why the moon is in the reverse and Ace of Swords is here. So you know, they know you know that they try to get you locked up. Or they know you know that they chose the dark side. They know you know that they try to stop you from walking in your purpose here. They know that you know that they possibly try to get you involved with CPS here. Child Protective Services. For some of you, they know uh, they that you know that they have child CPS, child protection services involved in their life here. Yeah, and whoever this is, they try to get CPS involved in your life here. They have it involved involved in their life because this came back out. They are neglecting their responsibilities to watch and spy on you here. Yeah. And whoever this person or these people are that are neglecting their responsibilities to watch and spy on you that got CPS involved in their life here. Yeah, they're paranoid. They're paranoid here. Somebody's also paranoid about something that could have taken place in 2011 here. Somebody possibly is going to try to come in here, possibly to manipulate you here because they they walked into the unknown and they've hit rock bottom and they don't know how to get out here. Um, somebody possibly wants to come in and ask you for some type of help here with this help me here. We have a Capricorn Aquarius Cusper here. Whoever this Capricorn Aquarius Cusper here, they could be living in self-disgust here. Or there is somebody that's living in self-disgust when it comes to a Capricorn Aquarius Cusper here. Um, yeah. Yeah. Somebody literally is is sitting in the consequences for the be, for their behavior here. So yeah, their actions are speaking louder than words as well here, but it's a difference. Mhm. Mm it's a difference whoever whoever the, the, this person or these people are. They walked into the unknown and so did you. You know, when you walk by faith and not by sight, you don't know what's in front of you. You just you just listen to God and you keep it moving. Yeah, but well, these people didn't listen to God. They listened to the devil. And they didn't know what the unknown was that they were walking into. Oh, well. And they can't stop you from moving forward. And they're crying over spilled milk because they didn't hit rock bottom trying to trying to get you, pull you to the dark side or, or get you to walk in, into the unknown path that they chose. No, you already know what your path, how your path was set for you. Whoever you are, you listen to your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. And that's how you know which path to take here. Yeah, we have somebody that's high key here. So whoever you are, you could be low key. Whoever this whoever this person or these people are, yeah, they're attention seekers, you know. And yeah, they got their 15 minutes of fame by walking down that path into the unknown. And guess what? Once they once once they got to the to the to to the end of the path, when the door opened, or when they decided to open that door, yeah, that's when their life started to change here. Yeah. Somebody literally is trying to uh, flex on you as well here. But I feel like whoever you are, you're flexing on these people here. You're showing off your accomplishments. Your actions are speaking louder than words here. These people are trying to flex on you, but in a very different way here. Um, they can't flex on you in in, in, in the way that, that, that shows their actions speaking louder than their words here. So for some of you, they have to use their words to, to, to try to flex on you. Yeah, because whoever you are, you have spiritual gifts here. So, yeah, these people are trying to flex on you here, and you are. You're showing off your accomplishments by using your spiritual gifts. That's what that's what they were given to you for here. If you, if you work on accomplishing things in the spirit, then, of course, it's going to manifest in the physical. That's what it's all about. These people got it confused. They got it twisted here. Yeah, because they walked into the wrong, un, uh, into the unknown door, the wrong one here. My words are so twisted up this morning, so somebody can't talk. Yeah. And because you are flexing on these people the way that, 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 that you're supposed to, and flexing doesn't mean in a bad way. It can mean because that's what they're do that's what this person or these people are doing, trying to flex on you that they're operating in their dark side. You get to flex on these people because you operate in your light side. Light side, you get to flex on these people because you're doing what God tells you to do here. So yeah, flex all day. And who gonna stop you? Nobody. The fact of the matter is, these people know that they can't stop you from moving forward. 
and they're crying over spilled milk because they wanted you to hit rock bottom, but they hit rock bottom. Whoever you are, you definitely will get the last laugh here. Mm-hmm. You definitely will get the last laugh. Whoever you are, your faith is way bigger than a mustard seed. And and yeah, for some of you, yeah, you're you're going to get angry um, when you realize what somebody was doing while they were in the dark side here. But it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I came back out. Sex demon. So somebody definitely does have a sex demon here. Whoever you whoever you are, you're strong and they're weak. Something about a hospital clinic as well here. Hospital or clinic visit here. We have December at the bottom of the deck here. So December is very significant here. So something literally is going to take place in December. We keep we keep getting that energy here in the in, in the last couple of messages here. It's something about uh divide and conquer energy here. So somebody literally knows that somebody was trying to divide or they're going to try to divide uh to conquer here. That's their strategy here, but it's not gonna work. Somebody, somebody possibly wants you to say something here. Somebody literally is finding this out. If this is not you, it's somebody else that's finding, that's finding all of this out here. But somebody literally wants somebody to say something here. It could be you. Or it could be whoever this message is resonating with here. Um, but somebody literally does have some type of divide and conquer strategy that they literally keep trying to implement. And it's not working. And I feel like somebody literally just wants somebody to say something here. Yeah, with the calm and the reverse, somebody literally wants somebody to get out of their character. But guess what? You don't have to get out of your character. Or whoever this is, if they're trying to get out of their character, they don't have to get out of their character. Their actions are showing, just like your actions are showing here. So somebody did drunk text somebody here, so that's that kite in the reverse here. Mm-hmm. Somebody literally is trying to apologize here. But it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Yeah, somebody's stuck in fear here. We have a Scorpio Sagittarius cusper here. But somebody literally is stuck in fear. Yeah, and it's because there's a family member that were, was paid that paid to sabotage you here. And if this is not your family member, it's, it's a family member of somebody else's. This could be a past person. This could be a friend. Uh take it how it resonates but there was a family member that was paid to that paid to sabotage you here mm-hmm and if this is not you it's somebody that's attached to your energy here yeah some type of financial abuse has taken place as well here so somebody was tr possibly trying to fi financially abuse you here or financially abusing somebody here mm-hmm Somebody literally could be moving out here, so and and it says living with parents. So for some of you, somebody who's living with their parents, they're moving out here, and so we do have somebody turning their back on manipulation, uh, spell work, or whatever the situation is. They're walking away at a cuss from the devil, wanting wanting to move forward here. Yeah, whoever you are, you're very authentic and real here. And there is definitely is getting ready to change, be a change to take place here. Whoever you are, you could have a life path number five here. You definitely could have changed your life here. And yeah, you definitely are being cautious to anything that doesn't serve your highest good here. You're, you're being cautious, yeah, to the cross and the reverse. Anything that doesn't serve your highest good, 
anything that is not of God, any type of manipulation, any type of spell work here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is someone, and we know because we saw the in the next 7 to 10 days, uh, that wants to communicate with you, but they don't want you to argue with them here. But something possibly is going to make you mad. Um, don't give that energy to that person if you choose to communicate here. Yeah, because they done found out that their family and friends are involved here. There could be an uncle here. So this person that paid to sabotage you or paid to sabotage somebody could be an uncle here. There could be an uncle that could be looking at you like a survivor here. Or this uncle could have survived whatever this is that these people were doing behind the scenes here. But yeah, there is no test without a testimony here. I mean, excuse me, there is no testimony without a test here. So yeah, your, t your, your faith is being tested in the situation here. Something about a car repossession as well here. Mm -hmm. So somebody literally could have gotten their car repossessed. So let's keep going, y'all. What else, spirits? Yeah, we have a sneaky fox here. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business here. So yeah, there is a sneaky fox, and we did see business proposition here. So there is some a sneaky fox that's going to try to come in here um, to try to bring forth some type of business proposition to you here. But there is something sneaky about it here. So by, this person literally could be trying to do this because they possibly already see that you have some type of good fortune here. Or this person is going to manipulate you to think that there's good fortune involved in it here. But it's something about a sneaky fox here. Or somebody literally could have been in business with a sneaky fox. Thinking that they were going to get good fortune and they didn't here. But yeah, we have reconciliation at the bottom of the deck. So somebody is a sneaky fox going to try to come in because they possibly know that somebody has good fortune already and is going to try to reconcile here. It could be a woman here. They could be trying to reconcile with somebody here. So it, it, this is you or it's someone that's attached to your energy here. Or it's saying that if you're a woman, that somebody, a sneaky fox is going to try to use a business proposition to come in to reconcile with you here. Yeah, we have the apple here. Temptation will test you. So yeah, definitely a feminine energy that somebody is trying to come in to tempt here. Yeah, and your faith is being tested at this time here. Somebody also possibly is going to try to tempt you to go out and have some fun or something like that here. I'm picking up force energy. Like somebody's just going to try to force you to come together with them or try to force somebody to come together with them or try to force somebody to do something here yeah when it comes to this temptation we'll test you yeah something about your career here somebody could already be trying to test you here when it comes to your career here something could have taken place in August here when it comes to a fair woman here, dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. So this could be an older woman here. We have casket here. So someone going out of your life or the end of a situation here. So somebody literally could have passed away here. Or somebody, or somebody is just literally ending something here with an older woman. So this could be apparent that somebody's ending it with. Yeah, somebody literally wants to go towards their happiness here. Mm-hmm. Whoever you are, yeah. I feel like you've already triumphed over troubles and obstacles, and you're going to continue to try over uh, uh, triumph over tro uh, troubles and obstacles here. Mm -hmm. Somebody literally, like I said, could have already tried to cause you, uh, try to tempt you when it comes to your career here. Yeah, we have a woman here. So, and this woman came back out again. Yeah, when it comes to your career, something about a wish being granted here. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wish is going to be granted here. And it's something about your nest here. It says an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you here. 
So yeah, for some of you, there's going to be a wish being granted when it comes to your family here. Something about a loving family here. Something about an exciting event here. And we have Hammock here taking a vacation physically or mentally. So for some of you, yeah, somebody literally is going to try to tempt you here. Um, it could be somebody that you work with here. But I feel like somebody's going to try to tempt somebody here. Uh, possibly trying to get some information or with some type of some type of information here. Um, it could be about a career or about a business opportunity here. And it's because you've are, there's already been a wish that has been granted to you in your life here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I feel like that somebody literally is looking at you, you know, like a lucky charm or something like that here. We have rabbit at the bottom of the deck. Too much concern with sexual matters. So we did pick up that sex demon here. So somebody literally has either found out that somebody has a sex demon or they're going to find out that somebody has a sex demon here. So let's get some messages from the Fluck It Bucket. Yeah, we have a Hakuna Matata here. So the good life. Hakuna Matata. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something about the Lion King could be significant here. It means no worries for the rest of your days. Mm-hmm. The initial D could be significant here. So somebody's initial could be D. Somebody's initial could be M here. We that we have DM, so somebody could possibly want to DM you here. Yeah, whoever you are, you have power. You have power. And whoever these people are, they 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 possibly knew that you had power, but they didn't know how powerful you were. They know now. Yeah. Somebody's initial could be why. Or somebody wants to know why you have power. This could be your ex here. We have younger than you here. So somebody that's involved in this situation could be younger than you here. This could be a Leo. Or you could be a Leo or have it in your chart. We have Scorpio here. So you could be a Scorpio or have it in your chart. Or somebody that's involved could be a Scorpio here. Um, we have the Hermit here. So yeah, somebody literally want, doesn't want you to be in Hermit mode here. Um, or somebody literally was trying to purposely get you in Hermit mode. Like purposely trying to keep you in solitude and wanted you to be in solitude here. But I feel like that that benefited you here. Because that is where there are no distractions here. And that's where you can go within here. I feel like whoever these people are, they need to go... Uh, in hermit mode here um, they need to clear their d distractions from their life here so that they can see clearly what what's what's ahead of them here there could be somebody here that is doing that because we did pick up that somebody literally was turning their back on all the things that didn't serve the highest good to try to move forward here yeah put a fork in it it's done so yeah whoever this person is they possibly are because we did see the coffin so um trying to end things that don't serve their highest good here so yeah the fool so they uh can uh have some type of fresh start here march could be significant here something could have taken place in march mm -hmm. you definitely do have spiritual protection though there is somebody that def definitely did have some type of stagnant mindset here. Something about the summer could be significant here. We have a Ouija board, so there could be somebody that literally was playing with a Ouija board here. They could have done it in the summertime here. You could be seeing 555 a lot. There definitely is a change coming here. You could be seeing 777 a lot. There could be a change coming to your finances here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something about the winter time is significant. So we did see December here. 
uh, somebody you could have bad blood here with somebody or somebody could have bad blood with you but we already picked it up so yeah there is some type of bad blood here um, and in winter time you gotta find out how bad the blood is here but it's not on your hands your your blood is not bad I don't feel like you have bad blood with anybody um, you understand the difference between light and dark that's it that's all but yeah somebody yeah they would definitely were worshiping a false god here whoever this person is yeah somebody is going to try to come towards somebody here um trying to act like that they are ready to move forward or something like that here so what i'm picking up is there could be a past person who possibly is coming towards you here um to possibly want to move forward with you here but there also is a past person of your past person who is trying to stop them from doing so. And so, yeah, this could be that could be the person that's trying to manipulate your past person, trying to stop your past person from coming towards you, whatever the situation is here. Or it could be two people, two different people that are trying to come towards you. One is good, one is bad. Take it how it resonates here. Um, but yeah, whoever this is that was worshiping a false god, yeah, they're going to try to come towards you here. But guess what? You're not buying what they're selling here. So if it's a person that is trying to do this business proposition or whatever here, you're not buying what they're selling. This person needs to remember that you have spiritual gifts so that you, so you can discern their spirit here. Yeah, there is somebody who's possibly doing some type of spell work here. It could be an emperor here that's trying to do some type of spell work here. Or this emperor is finding out who was doing the spell work here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is somebody that just wants to do it here. So somebody just wants to come towards you here. Somebody just wants to keep doing spell work or keep operating in the dark side here. Um, but I feel like there is somebody that literally does want to come towards you here. Um, they do want to have something with you here. Uh, but whoever this person is, they literally do have are going through some type of hard time in their life here. And I do feel like this person is realizing the reason why they're going through this hard time in their life here. At the end of the day, whoever you are, you're definitely favored by God here. You're definitely favored by God, and these people can't do nothing to stop you here. Yeah. So when we got the affirmations today, when I split the deck, it says, consider all your options before acting here. So somebody didn't consider all their options before they acted here. And so whoever you are, I do feel like that you definitely consider all your options before acting. That's why your actions speak louder than words here. And somebody knows that they can't just come in and try to play on your top here. Yeah, and it's okay for you to cry when you need to. That's a that's a healing mechanism. That that's also a spiritual cleanser as well here. Yeah, because it doesn't mean that you're weak. It, it it definitely means that you're strong. You're brave and you're bold here. It definitely means that you're a human. So yeah, it's okay for you to cry when you need to here. Mhm. Mm yeah, you definitely could be becoming a better person every day here. There could be somebody else here who's literally trying to become a better person every day here. Yeah, you are energy. You are magic. I think we got that card yesterday. Yeah, let go of things that no longer serve you here. I feel like that that's what you're doing here. Um, but I'm but I'm picking up too that 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 could be what somebody else is doing as well. Is letting go of things that no longer serve them here. Whoever this is, yeah, they want to be strong. They want to be brave. They want to be bold like you here. Because whoever this person is, they are realizing now that you are energy. You are magic here. Yeah, meditate on the answer here. So for some of you, there possibly is going to be some type of um, situation here where it's going to require some type of answer. Um, yeah, so think before acting. Meditate on the answer here because you don't want to make a irrational decision here because I was picking up the energy that somebody was literally going to try to come in here to try to speed things up or try to force somebody into doing something or not really forced, but try to manipulate somebody to literally move forward here. Or something like that. 
yeah, somebody trying to get somebody to, yeah, say yes quickly here. Be your own God. Don't let nobody uh, make your decision for you here. And trust in yourself. Trust in spirit first. Trust in yourself second here. Yeah, because whoever you are, your energy is so sacred. And these people know it. These people know it. Whoever these people are, they know. Whoever this person is that wants to come towards you, they know. That's why they're trying to infiltrate your energy here. Yeah, for some of you, you could benefit from practicing from uh, chakra healing here. Yeah, because real change starts from inside of you here. Whoever this person is, they possibly, you know, could benefit from practicing uh, chakra healing here. Um, whoever this person is, they need to realize that real change starts from inside of you. And I feel like that that's where you started your change from was inside. And so, yeah, your actions are speaking louder than words. Whatever is on the inside of you, it's coming out. So whatever is radiating on the outside of you, the reason why that these people are jealous, because they don't see the inside. I feel like that they're judge they're judging they're judging a book by its cover, so they only see what's on the outside. They don't even know what's on the inside. Well what they're judging on the outside is your light. And so it just imagine what's on the inside to make you radiate on the outside the way that you're radiating in front of these people here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So y'all, let's get us a um, a scripture here to take us out in the message or two. It says, for there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man, Christ Jesus. So yeah, these people, they, they, they were worshiping a false god here. I feel like whoever these people are, they thought that they were God. They thought that they were going to mediate between you and God. The fact of the matter is, the only way to get to God is through Jesus. Whoever you are, you know the steps to take. These people thought that they were going to overpower, they or they literally were Christ Jesus or God here. The fact of the matter is, there is one God and one mediator between God and men. The man, Christ Jesus. And so, yeah, you're you're not Christ Jesus, but you are Christ-like here. So you definitely could are a mediator between God and other people here. So whoever you are, these people, they know. They know, and that's why they're trying to infiltrate your energy here. It says, but when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think they shall be heard for their much speaking here. So somebody's using vain repetitions when they pray here. So they just keep asking, God, please give me a um, Lamborghini. God, please give me a Mercedes. God, please give me, you know, when you pray, don't use vain repetitions. God knows us. God knows who we are. He already knows. He knows our hearts. He already knows what we're going to say before we open our mouths here. Whoever these people are, they use vain repetitions like heathens here. And they think that they're going to be heard here. Whoever this whoever this person or these people are, they need to understand who God is. They need to get a relationship with God, and 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 maybe they will be able to move forward a little bit more in their life here. I feel like whoever you are, you don't use vain repetitions. But if you do, you know, just just switch it up. You know, you can use the the prayers in the Bible. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Y'all know the prayer. I mean. That's what God don't want to. God doesn't want to hear stuff that He already knows what's what we gonna say. At the end of the day, so whoever these people are, y'all, yeah, y'all just y'all just be cautious. Continue to be cautious. Continue to pray. Continue to allow your actions to speak louder than words. And that's been the message. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon.